first step on the script, download, then change it so it's executable. And finally, we're going to run it after we type it correctly. All right, everything's true. That means it took, and all the templates should be there. We'll go to Kibana. We'll go to the stack management, and then we're going to check to make sure the templates took. And as you can see, you have all three, four of them there. And we have our two component templates in there. Now I'm going to delete them, and we're going to install them again, but we'll do the manual method. So we're going to go to the GitHub repository. And then we have all of our templates. I'm just going to simply copy. And then you're going to paste those into the development tools. And then once you're done, hit the little green play button. And this will be Oops. Right there. Uh, we got to do them in order because uh, this one is reliant on the settings component. So we'll do the settings. Again, copy everything, paste it. And you'll do this every single time. You'll see the true acknowledgement, meaning that it took. And just go right through them. Again, do settings first. Mapping second, and then the rest, whatever order you desire. Great. Now we're all done. As you can see, the script is a lot quicker. And now we're going to check to make sure they're, they're all back. So they're all back in their spots, and they have all been installed to include the ILM lifecycle policy. So now we're going to go on to the Kibana piece, and we're going to import those dashboards or the saved objects. We'll go to the, the folder, but we're going to do the script install first. So with that, again, download the script. Next, we'll make it uh, executable. And then finally, we'll run the script. After I spell it right again. All right, you'll see a bunch of jibber jabber on there but essentially when we refresh it uh, you'll see a bunch of objects in there so it loaded every all the objects and all the dashboards so we're going to fast forward as i delete all these and then once they're all deleted we'll do it the manual method as you can see the manual method is going to take a bit longer but you can pick and choose what dashboards and what uh, you want to install so we'll refresh nothing's there it's uh back to normal so we'll go back to GitHub. You'll see all the files ending in ndjson. We're going to save those to your computer, however you desire to do that. Uh, once you save those, it's important that the extension is ndjson. As you can see, I got them all to the right on my desktop. And now I'm going to import. 
in Kibana. So I'm just going to drag one file at a time, hit import, and just go through until they're all done. And the order is not important on the dashboards in any order you want. And you can pick and choose which ones you want. All right, looks like they're all there to include all the referenced index patterns. So we're done with the menu method. As you can see, we don't have any indexes yet. So we don't have any logs. No data has been sent to our instance. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to configure our firewall to send the data so we can visualize it and see it. So in this particular case, I'm using OpenSense. Uh, PFSense is uh, a little bit different, but it's pretty easy to, to set up. So you can see I already have some that are set up here. Um, I'm going to edit this one that I previously created just to walk through it. We're going to enable it. We're going to send it over UDP. And then all these applications are what we're going to send as far as logs. You can, we can clear all those, and it's going to send everything if we want. Um, now we're going to set the IP address of where we installed PF Elk. And we'll set the port descriptions up to you if you want to do it. Apply it. And then your firewall should start sending logs. So we're going to go and check our indices. And as you can see, we have two. Um, refresh it again, you'll see the dot count climb. That just means that there's more logs being received. We'll go to Kibana and we'll check one of our dashboards out and see what the data looks like. So as you can see here, uh, not a whole lot of traffic, but there's stuff there. So the longer we sit it, let it sit, uh, the more data is going to be uh, at our disposal to kind of sift through. Um, life cycle management, if we want, we can change it. Right now it's set for 90 days, we'll set it for 180 days on the, on the hot. Uh, the cold phase will make it uh, a year. And we'll delete these things after 700 and, I don't know, 30 days, we'll save it. Um, and you can change that to whatever you want. Um, and it kind of just self-manages your indices. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Thanks.